the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Why do we need a new covenant then? Because man fell. <laughs> but, but, but we already got a kingdom. <laughs> man fell and lost leadership. He lost it. He okay, gave yeah. it away. <laughs> but I'm saying though, you implying what you tried to imply. Wow, that's and I, I want to make sure you understand it. What you're erroneously implying is that there was a kingdom before Jesus showed up. That, you that, know, right, we, we asked the question, yeah. and it was fair, I think it's a fair statement. When Genesis 126 said, give them dominion. And when we translated that word, that means reign or rulership. But it was something under God's control. God was the, the Lord over Adam. Adam fell, the kingdom was removed. I don't see a problem you know, with the fact that You know what's really <laughs> funny about that? What's funny about that is Satan himself tells Jesus in the temptation. He says, he showed him all the kings of the world. He said, I give this to you because mm -hmm. it has been delivered unto me. Yeah. And he was called a prince of this world. He, so so Satan being a prince of this world had had dominion, had dominion, now, had dominion prior to Christ anyway, over the earth. And that had been transferred to him through the fall in the garden. And he offered it back to Jesus Christ when he said, uh, well, we'll just repeat what I just said. Yeah. But this has done to me. So uh, under authority, under what, what what mechanism was he given the authority over these these these, these, these cities, uh, this earth, if he didn't receive it from somebody that had gained it from somewhere else? And he did say he took keys, right? He took yeah. the key. He took what the key. What was the line of authority? Yeah. What he was took, it? Yeah. I, I, bitch, I don't think we're taking you too far off. I'm just saying this. No, yeah. what you, you don't have I just never thought key. about it. I never thought about it. You don't but, have but, a text, you have an opinion. You don't have a text to look at. That, that's a problem. You don't have a text to look at. Well, we got text that says, oh, oh, we got text that says in, 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 in chapter four of, of Matthew, when he was tempted 40 days, 40 nights, what Elder was saying was that the devil gave final temptation was, all this has been given unto me. Who gave, gave him what? That Who he's not talking him? about the kingdom of God. We said all these kingdoms. Oh, all that's this that's glory. Clear. That's, that's it's clear. Not He's not talking about the kingdom of God. He, 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 he's, talking, he's talking about dominion. That he's, was he's not, well, I'm going to make sure you get this. He is not referring to the kingdom of God. Satan has never had any place in the kingdom of God. No, no, no. I, I think he's talking about the kings of the world, but what we were talking about. Okay, well, that's what he's He said, well, what we're trying to say to back to is who established the kingdom of the world for the jump? Right. Who? What? Did, what was that dominion that God gave man from the beginning? That he lost. Physical realm. So what? Okay. He had dominion over, over this physical realm. Earth. Right there. There we agree. But who? Who gave that kingdom? Who established that kingdom? I wouldn't call it a kingdom. Well, it says dominion. Dominion means rulership. Well, you know, rulership, dominion, that could be a lieutenant in the army. Well, it's, it says, God, remember, even Jesus is under in, 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 in the role he plays, Whoa. right? Whoa. I just found one, y'all. It huh? says, he was, there's but one power, and that power is God. Yep. He resists the power of the ordinance of God receives this of damnation. So, what he, he establishes later on is. Uh, is that all powers of God? Yeah. Uh, and if that be, they are either ordained or allowed. It's an allowance on his part. Yeah. But it's definitely taken if he says, yeah, he put one power and that power is God. Right. The power that ordained of God, he resists the power, resists the ordinance of God, and receives the self damnation. That didn't change. If he was that God then, he's all powerful. He's almighty. Right. Whatever has surpassed is either been at his ordinance or at his, at, at his allowance. So what did he allow or ordain from the beginning? What government was Adam serving under? And I'm going to ask that question because I never thought about this before. I was yeah. wearing into this part of trying to see. I did what made me want to say, like, 
Okay, what kingdom were they under before? Right. <laughs> and who established it? Was it Adam that established that kingdom? Or and did God give yeah. dominion? And Jesus did hey, say but, but you gotta understand what he gave him dominion over. He, he gave, gave him the of, 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 of this world. Yeah. He said over all the fish of the sea, all the cre all the things of the earth that walks upon the earth, he gave him dominion. Man has dominion, was given dominion to 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 replenish this earth. So is that the kingdom that Jesus is made yeah, of? That, that. No, uh, not. no, 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 no. Oh, that's not, let's clear up something because we wondering all over the place. Is that the same kingdom that Jesus came to establish? No. 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 That's not, no. no, that's not the same kingdom he came Good. to establish. And if it's not the same kingdom, why are we wasting our time with that? Well, we're well, not guess, it, it we're, really, we're, we're, we're talking it's about uh we, we, we were trying to see if there was a parallel between what the conversation was in the garden and what we're experiencing right now. And what There's you said was a shadow. And we said that that was a shadow. And all I was saying from the beginning was that kind of may reflect from the restating of the story that happened in the beginning. That's all. It was a shadow. This, that, that parable, Mark 4, and what happened in Genesis are shadows of, of what the kingdom is about. It's just a shadowing of it. That's all. So you can go forward now. You can go ahead. We, we, okay, we so, established that only right. Jesus' kingdom is what we're talking about. So, uh, Joe, so did you put together a statement? Uh, you want to I talk would, to us about about yeah. uh, Rob? You did you put together uh, a CIT? Yes, I, I put together a CIT. But mine, my CIT, like you said, like uh, like the instruction gave me, that um, was strictly based on Mark chapter four, verses one through nine. Okay. And uh, I, I, re I reference back to uh, John chapter ten, verse twenty-seven. Okay. But that's why um, that's why I got there when he said the kingdom of God. Does it. So what I wrote is hearing God's voice is paramount for the believer to achieve spiritual growth. That's what I wrote. It, because when Jesus, you know, said, um, said, uh, said uh, my sheep know my voice and the voice okay. of a stranger, they will not follow. Okay. So that's what I based off that hearing when he said, um, in number nine, he says, um, that it came to pass that it fell. Uh, he said, behold, that yeah. went out of sore. So, when he says the word hearken right there, hearken, yeah, I always soon to say listen to me. Yeah. 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 So he said hearken and listen to me, behold me to see it. So he said, listen to me and see and understand what I'm trying to say. So yeah. that's why I got that part from from the first word, hearken, which means listen. Okay. So I and that's when I wrote that down about hearing God's voice is paramount for uh, uh, for the believer to to achieve spiritual growth, because I believe, um, like like some of the guys, I don't know about, but I, I believe like this: as a young, as, as when you're in Christ, you're a little babe, and as little babe or small sheep, they run all over the place until they start getting stronger and stronger in the Word of God, and then they begin to really themselves up and start following the Word of God more and more. But uh, they want that spiritual growth. You, the more you hear God, and as you, the more you hear God's voice, the more you want to hear His voice. Mm -hmm. The more Amen. you sit there and listen intently and keenly, you want to hear it more, and you want to get to a point where no matter what is going on around you, whatever is is coming against you, you still want to be able to listen for that small voice for guidance and direction Amen, man. and instruction. Right, that's, so spirit that's why here. I, yeah. Yeah, I got to have that keenness. I want that keenness. I want I don't sometimes I refer to it as having a dog ear, you know. You want to be able to hear a sound <laughs> that 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 no one that you no one else can hear it, I guess. Praise mm -hmm. God, praise God, praise God. So that's what I base mine off of that one through nine. I so like now that you now that you gave all those now, now that you gave those other instructions. On uh, what we just say to things to consider, I take that in consideration the next time. Yeah, because did okay. you did you get what the devil part the stealing? 
you, you didn't you didn't what about that the, the obstacles uh, the I always work? figured I, I I was looking at the long lines when I said that's why I said uh uh spiritual growth because uh -huh. I looked at spiritual growth as a process it is yeah I, I looked at it as a process so you know you first get saved then you start studying you're studying you're studying and you're studying and you're praying and fasting and <laughs> praying and praising as you go and go and go so i you're going to grow if, if spiritual growth me like I, said, I looked at it as a process as a process yeah yeah i, 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 I was just wondering about the part about could i could i see like you can't get away from that part about the enemy trying the opposition the opposition is is is, is part of the christian's life that that spiritual warfare that's why right. even my eyes are put the devil stole because that's what is the challenge of a christian I mean, it explains it. I mean, the, the different grounds to me is, is the different levels that you receive the word. I mean, it's how do you believe the word and how long do you believe it until, you know, like hardship come, the cares of this world come, you know, the thorns choke it, you know, and at first you may be glad about hearing it and then it's gone you know and it, it's just it's it, like i said when when i first read this to get a it it really showed my life as a christian from going from milk to meat and the right. meat is getting the yeah, word sown on that. good ground right. so in the beginning it was like i heard it and immediately Satan came and took it away. I mean, I grew up in the church. I wasn't saved, but I grew up and I heard the word. So, you know, and it took time of me hearing the word before some, you know, tried to manifest in my life. And, and I became interested in some things and didn't understand a whole lot of other things. So and it was just a process, like like uh, Brother Harper was saying. And uh, and then when you get to the end of that parable, he said, he who has an ear to hear, let him hear. So everybody ain't going to hear until you get to some kind of ground. <laughs> you may you may hear, but it still may they may not believe. Well, let's, let's look